Uh, hi everyone. <clears throat> so today we'll, we'll present secure cloud storage um, uh, migration. This work was done by Edward, uh, Sia, Vamsi, um, and Shakur. So um, a cloud storage is a cost-effective and agile platform for both users and businesses. Um, transferring data, as you know, to uh, and between a cloud storage systems uh, presents uh, a vulnerability for the data. Well, this paper proposes a method uh, for securely migrating between cloud storage systems using public key exchange and uh, uh, cipher block chaining, the CPC. Uh, to start with, let's talk a little bit about cloud storage. Cloud storage is a feature of the emerging cloud computing technology. It provides cost-effective and scalable storage for both end users and businesses. Uh, a major concern users of cloud storage is the security of their sensitive data, both in transit and at rest. Um, of course, we are talking at transit in this work currently, um, and potential you current and potential users of the cloud storage should research the features offered by their cloud service providers. Uh, this is very important to ensure they align with the user's requirements, not just based on how the service is marketed, but also on how encryption is done. So uh, you always have to do your due diligence. The user must transfer the data over public channel, channels when choosing a new uh, service provider. Um, this paper proposes a method for securely migrating user data between cloud storage systems. So how we migrate the data uh, between different cloud storage systems. So the problem statement will be, uh, with example, let Alice be an end user who is using the cloud storage offered by the provider, Bob. Bob. Alice finds that the security features offered by Bob is or is not aligned with the requirement uh, for a transmission. So what should we do? We should secure it in our end. So to efficiently and securely transfer the data, Alice, uh, who owns the, the data, must ensure that Bob can encrypt the data before transmitting to Carol, a third party, and ensure Carol, Carol can decrypt the data up on receipt. Uh, to accomplish this, Alice provides a secret uh, symmetric cryptographic key to both Bob, uh, the provider, and Carol, the third party. So a background of different technologies, we have Diffie-Hellman Key Exchange. The Diffie-Hellman Key Exchange is a protocol used for sharing a secret key over public channel channels by producing decryption keys via raising a number to a specific power. So the algorithm is well known, used for many years. The protocol requires all parties to agree on public variables, which is P and G, uh, where P is a prime and G is a primitive fruit uh, modulo P. And of course, this prime, the larger it is, the better, the more secure. This ensures the results shared uh, secret is uh, a value between 1 and P minus 1. Remember, P is a prime number chosen by chosen to for the algorithm and the minimum of 2048 bits should be used the larger again the larger the p the more secure um, the, the the protocol uh, so for the ex exchange between two parties and that's what is the algorithm for uh, so uh, uh, the simplest case involves two parties alice and pop and remember, in here, we're trying to involve a third party. So each agree on a number. For example, P could be 1093. 1093 is a prime number. And G, which is a primitive, 504. Uh, Alice chooses a private integer, uh, A6, for example, then sends Bob public um, um, 
um, uh, the integer, the a, which is g to the power a, mod the, the, the prime, which is 1045. Bob chooses the private integer, which is b7, then sends Alice the public integer b, which is the g to the power uh, b. Uh, mod um, uh, p, which is 947. Alice and Bob compute the shared secret key, which is will be co computed this way. The secret will be like b to the power a or a to the power b, which will give you 972. This is the secret key. All right. So this is the sample for uh, uh, a secrecy exchange for two parties. All right. And then here, secrecy chart for multiple parties. When you have multiple parties, exchange the data. Also, um, uh, the uh, Rivis Ch Shamir Alderman uh, protocol, which uh, uh, known as RSA, is algorithm that is used for encryption and decryption. Usually, the algorithm is more effective and efficient when it's combined with some other alternative algorithms rather than being used alone. Something identical to a file or data initially encrypted using symmetry key and later, once the encryption is completed, it would then be encrypted using RSA, so second encryption. This would ensure that the decryption of symmetry key uh, could only be possible by the entity which has the private RSA key. It, it's like a secure uh, transmission and secure uh, decryption. It also ensures that the novel data which meant to be transferred can be obtained by any entity without having access to the symmetry key. Um, so we use Cypher blockchain, CBC, uh, ES is a high speed and low cost algorithm. Uh, the CBC can be used to improve the security of AES for data that does not need to be accessed randomly. Uh, the CBC, uh, the sender and the receiver agree upon 128-bit uh, initialization vector or IV. And this is the process for transmitting. So we have the plain text. This is the agreed up on IV. Um, then um, uh, the block cipher encryption, the AES, will give you the cipher link and then we'll chain them together until the end. So it only starts from the IV, which is agreed up on. Okay. And this is the receiving. So up on the receiving, okay, you have the key and you decrypt it, all right? Again, you have to use the IV, you're gonna have the plain text, and then this will be chained together. So you need the information from a previous cycle to be able to decrypt the next cycle until the end. So key and initialization vector need to be a secret. So we try to combine them and did a simulation divided in two uh, cases uh, and simulated with visual plus plus implementation and we have used the open SSL for the Diffie-Hellman RSA and AES. We combined the algorithms together. So we had the first case uh, simulates a symmetric key exchange using RSA first uh, crypto system and the block cipher encryption using the AES 256 ECB. Uh, the following are the high level steps of the uh, process. We just followed the process like this. Then we had a second case uh, where we simulated the symmetric key exchange using Diffie Hellman this time. Key exchange with the three participants and the block cipher AES 256 CBC. All right, and this is the, the steps that we have followed, of course, from the algorithms themselves. So uh, this is the first, this is the Diffie-Hellman key exchange uh, simulation, and this is the RSA crypto system key exchange. Um, and the key exchange, as you see in here, um, uh, in terms of the time, the key, uh, the key length, of course, the, the longer the key, the more secure, but the more time it, it needs. 
So overall, we did the simulation for Diffie-Hellman key exchange and for RSA um, uh, key exchange. Uh, it's a clearly that the Diffie-Hellman is much more uh, uh, faster in terms of key exchange. This is for the ES encryption. Uh, this is just an example for the simulation, and this is AES uh, e -E uh, 256 ECB. This is the CPC, and we compared the results in here. So again, um, you know, uh, the key length, the longer the key, the more secure, but it will require more um, time. Um, uh, so it's uh, clearly here that AES-256 ECB is uh, faster in terms of time. Uh, um, and um, uh, the AES-CBC AES, uh, CBC it took longer uh, time. So in here, uh, we suggested um, co combining like different algorithms to protect the data and the rest and then transfer. And we provided a mechanism for to have three, three parties exchange the data securely. So data can be securely migrated by exchanging symmetric cryptographic keys using public key algorithm and encrypting the data with a plug cipher. Uh, this paper showed that Diffie-Hellman key exchange is a faster alternative to RSA, which is a very common algorithm used um, for exchanging the keys. <coughs> Uh, and um, <clears throat> um, and um, it will compensate for the slower speeds in the cyber plug. So we're trying to gain some speed somewhere uh, with ch changing um, um, one of the algorithm and maintaining the strength of the um, of the uh, work uh, of the uh, encryption. So securing the data at rest as well as in a transit. Thank you.